everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reads. This read will go somewhere around the 17th to the 24th of August and it is for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all your likes, your donations, your gifts, your support, your readings and everything else that you've contributed to my journey been absolutely wonderful and I want to say a very big thank you for that. Um, do remember these readings are general so if they don't resonate please make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart or move on to another reader. I am using the Radiant White Tarot here for your reading and we're ready. Nice and quickly too. Cancer you're being offered a different way to go. There are two paths here. Um, you look like you are leaving the old path behind here and you're about to take some sort of adventure into another direction here. The old direction, you're leaving all, it's still tied where it was, nothing's changed, it's stayed exactly the same place. It's even sealed to the wall here, so it's just staying where it is. You're off to have a new adventure here. Okay, so there's an Ace of Swords behind that. My favourite Ace, I love the Ace of Swords. This is about, can be about an apology it's definitely about a new start that is about living in your truth it's about following your own following your own path following your own direction following or forging ahead with something now that you know you need to do there's a great deal of worry and anxiety behind this though so something you're doing here is creating a little bit of anxiety we do have the three of cups here so there could be a situation, wow. Okay, interesting. This is a second chance at something. So it, it's like a rebirth for you. Because you're rebirthing as the King of Wands. So what you are doing here is you are changing into somebody who's taking leadership in their own life. You're changing into a person who knows their value and is walking in their own truth here with this Ace of Swords. Now, there could be a lot of celebration around this with the Three of Cups um, because you are starting to make your way forward here after a period of anxiety. So this choice has not been an easy one, but you've decided to take this new choice here that's been offered to you. You have taken up the sword and you're ready to fight the battle. Let's get some more information from the reading though. Okay, so we do have the Page of Pentacles coming up first. So the Page of Pentacles talks about making an offer. It's only a little offer though, because it's only a page. So it's the beginning of something new here, um, the very beginning. There's also a feeling with the Page of Pentacles, every time I get that card, I always feel like it's some sort of gift being given to you by the universe. So it's not just a message, it's something that contains so much more here. So much more than that. Okay, Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take. It talks about sharing the wealth. Um, it's about making sure that, you know, something that you are doing is equally favourable to you as it is to someone else. It's about balancing the scales out and making sure you're being fair. Ten of Pentacles coming in here. So we're talking some sort of abundance here. This is all pentacles here. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, it could be something to do with work here as well. Let's keep going. Oh no, there's an offer of love here with this little page of cups. There's an offer of love here. You're offering to somebody, somebody you feel will put in as much as you are putting in. It's like an equal reciprocity. Big word for today. Something you're investing in here, basically. Okay, Seven of Cups here. So there could have been a lot of options for you, but I feel like you've narrowed down your options here because you want to work with somebody on something. And again, Pentacles. So for some of you, this could be a work situation. The Eight of Wands is here, though, which does talk about arrows of love. 
I'm going backwards and forwards on this, thinking that somehow or another it's either somebody that you have worked with or somebody you're going to work with because there is a combination of love and work here. I'll put some more cards on it though. There is the Three of Swords here after the Three of Cups, so I cannot rule out that you have not walked away from something else in order to walk to make an offer to something new. Perhaps someone you haven't been completely honest with here. Oh, look, and there's your card. So we have you moving forward very rapidly, but the universe is doing this. This is something that the universe has taken control of. You've been too slow at doing it. You're taking a different pathway here and forging ahead with this Ace of Swords. Being very truthful after a period of not being truthful here, I feel. Um, the Nine of Swords says to me that there's been a great deal of um, worry and anxiety around this situation and taking this new pathway that you're you're cutting through something here. Um, it could be that you are leaving a relationship, but what I want to say more is that I love that you're coming up as the leader in your own life now it's like you've taken charge of a situation but then I see the chariot here and I think you're standing in your element here the universe is giving you a little bit of a bolster though okay so there's some sort of gift on offer here or something you see as a gift um, something that you feel is very equal um, something you're walking towards or very something somebody you're walking towards that you're very passionate about I have no doubt that either um, because you feel that they are your equal. There's a lot of abundance here, but you have gone through a period of great confusion to get to this point. And I feel with this Seven of Swords here, something was unspoken for a long time that caused this confusion. And I think that you've had some sort of third party thing going on here where you're having to walk away from something to go to something new. Wow. Um, the Eight of Wands here talks of passionate messages, of lots of things, messages going backwards and forwards here. Um, I honestly feel that you have feeling like here that you've been creeping around for a long time without opening up about something because there's this feeling of deceit here. Now, remember, this reading can go backwards and forwards, so it can be the other person. And if that's the case, Cancer, you've got someone coming towards you who's perhaps not been open with what they've been doing or how they've been going. There's a feeling that things have been hidden here. There's a card of deceit. There's a card of things going in a really nice direction, but perhaps it's because someone has not been honest with you about how they felt. Um, but there, the universe is moving it forward now anyway, so it's definitely moving in the right direction. But I think there's been a lot of confusion and a lot of anxiety about this whole situation. Alrighty, let's go to the mystical shaman oracle here. Okay, and we have the card of the moon coming out. So another card that represents cancer. Um, I mean, the moon talks about things being hidden. Um, and not being raised to the surface and how important that is, but I will read it to you. The moon spends equal time in the dark as it does in the light of the sun, and now it comes to remind you of this balance. Have you been too focused on outer achievements, productivity or social engagements? Or have you spent too much time hidden from the outer world, not wanting to interact or show your face? Meditate on the significance of the moon's cycle and let it gently guide you out of your bottomless depths. Head back to the world of outer expression and connection with others. Let it help you make time for yourself, your feelings and your essential human and spiritual needs. So I, from that, I get this feeling that you've been hiding away for too long. You haven't been honest about something and now it's time to come out of the darkness and walk into the light. Beautiful reading. Thanks, Cancer.